Hello and welcome to this tutorial on creating custom fields. In any software there's usually some item that you wish it had or that you would like to add. Noxternal allows us to do this by giving us the ability to add custom fields. We'll go up to the Tools section, click on Settings, and then select Custom Fields on the left. Here we can add a new field and we have a number of different options. The first thing we want to do is name our field and for this one we're going to insert neck size. Now you'll see on the right that as we name the file it creates an identifier. This identifier can be used later to insert this information into reports. The field type is next. We have a number of options here. We have text, number, paragraph, which is like text but allows you to enter more, a drop-down choice that looks similar to the menu that we're looking at now, or multiple choice where you have multiple options that you can choose. For next size, we'll leave this as text. We'll set our unit label as inches, and we will place it in a tab. So we have the option of patient, address, miscellaneous, or recording. For this one we'll just leave it in the patient. For default value, if we wanted there to be a value that always opens that we can edit, then we could enter something here, but in this case it's not necessary. And finally the field size. In this case it would be a very small amount of information that we're entering, so we'll keep the field size as small. Click OK and you will see that we have now created a custom field called next size. We'll go ahead and create a few more to give an example of each one of these items. Click new field again and now we'll enter temperature. We will enter the temperature as a number and we will enter that in degrees Fahrenheit. For placement we will create a new one. Let's call this one metrics. For default value, we'll enter in 98 degrees. And for field size, again, this would be a very small field with only limited information. Click OK. And now we have a new custom field of temperature that will be under our metrics tab that we just created. Click again on New Field. This time we'll create a label called My Notes. We will make it a paragraph so that we can enter more information. We will put it again in our Metrics tab and there will be no default value. For this one we'll make the field size large. This will give us room for more information to be entered. Click OK. Again, new field. This label, we will say mask type. The field type will be a drop down choice. And with drop down choice, you see that it will open option values and default values. We're going to again put this in metrics. And then for option values, we just type what we want. Pillows, separate them with a semicolon, nasal, semicolon, full face mask. Click OK. And we've created that mask type custom field. One more new field. We'll say mask size. This one we will create as a multiple choice. Again, we'll put it in metrics. And then our option values will be small, medium, or large. We can put in a default value of medium. Click OK. So now we've created five new custom field types that are available for us to enter data in the patient information.
Go down to the lower right hand corner and click OK. So now if we open a patient study, we can go to the edit screen to edit this patient information or up to our icon bar and click on the little head that indicates recording properties. You can see now under our patient tab we have an item for next size. We can enter in say 17 inches. And you also see that we have a tab called metrics. We have our temperature that defaulted to 98 degrees. Let's say that this patient was at 97.6. We can edit that information. For notes, we can type in any patient information that we would like to. Then we can select our mask type. We'll say that he was on a nasal mask and instead of leaving that at medium, we'll select large for this patient. Click OK. And this information has been saved to this patient's folder. This information can also be used for custom reports or interpretation notes. In order to add one of our newly created custom data fields to a report, we would go to the reports selection, click on manage reports, and then select one of our reports that we want to add it to. Say that under patient information we wanted to add the information for temperature. We would click in an available box, name it, and then click in the next box to insert the data. We would go to the right and search our data fields for temp and we see that under patient information temperature is an option. Double click and a dash will be added to the blank where we insert the data field. The process would be the same to add this to an interpretation report. Click Save and close and the data field is permanently added to our report. Thank you for watching this tutorial on creating custom fields. We hope that it was helpful.